Now, Hello everyone. <coughs> it is now time for my fifth game of Jeopardy Deluxe for the SNES. <laughs> I currently have a five a four game where he sold us sixty-eight thousand one dollars. Well I add on to that sixty-eight thousand one, you'll just have to watch to find out. I attempted a game last night, but my camera went low on battery after part one. My opponents are Jenny and Mike. Here are the categories. Let's see my six categories. Man. <coughs> Weather. Rocks and minerals. Art. The 1910s. And starts with M-E. We know what that means. I'm going to try these categories, and I'm going to start off with man for 100. The answer is... Unlike any other animal, a human's is S-curved to help make an upright position possible. Spine. Yes. Man for 200. The answer is... Humans are diphodon, meaning when the first set of these fall out, they are replaced. Teeth. Or teeth. Yeah. Man 300. The answer is... The clear yellowish fluid portion of blood in which cells are suspended. Uh, I can't remember this one. Jenny rings in, it's plasma. Okay. Alright. So Jenny is on the board with 300. Now we're going to weather for 100. The answer is... A recent study indicates that 22 to 40 percent of lightning flashes without this being heard. Thunder. Uh, man for 400. The answer is... Total number of femurs in the normal human body. Two. Yes. Man for five. The answer is... Man is classified within this order of mammals. Primates? Yes. Um, let's try a weather for 200. The answer is... A slippery mixture of falling rain and snow. Sleet? Or is it hail? I'm going to say hail this time. No, it's probably sleet. Yep, sleep. Alright, so my 200. Now it's rocks and minerals for 100. The answer is... Cinnabar is the ore of this most common metal that is liquid at room temperature. I was going to say iron. No, it's mercury. To be honest, that was kind of my second guess. Now it starts with me for 100. The answer is... Seen in August, the proceeds are this type of shower. Meteor. Yes. Uh, let's go back to weather for 300. The answer is... This term for a tropical cyclone is the Far East equivalent of a hurricane.
Typhoon. That, it just didn't come to me in time. Well, they're for 400. The answer is... Arizona black blizzards created by a mix of high, wet winds of the tropics and dry ground air. Uh, dust storms. Yep. Uh, weather for five. The answer is... The National Weather Service defines this as a considerable snowfall with winds over 35 miles per hour. Uh, blizzard. Yes. Um, let's do uh, the 1910s for 100. The answer is... A 1918 British Act of Parliament allowed women 30 and over to do this. Vote. Welcome back to the My Home Age. Today is all about tapas and teenies, and I got another great teeny for you called the Metropolitan. Yes. I make you that. We're gonna make another. 1910s for 200. The answer is. Using is a rack of store this organization of U.S. veterans was chartered in 1919. American Legion. Potato chips. Now these are frozen and they're ridged, and I'm going to get this in the foil because the base for this right. dish is Mine's 500 now. Starts with me, 200. The answer is. And be careful. Sap sucking insect named for a white sticky cornmeal like powder found on its body. Like powder found on its body. Uh, mealy bug. You are going to put the whole jar of chili The whole thing. It's got a lot of flavor. What you're going to Yeah. Me for 300. Wow, there's the daily double. Uh, how much do I want to risk? Uh, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for a thousand on this, just to play safe. Sage Rome was critical of those who used the end to justify these. I'm going to cut my ribs and take the meat off of the ribs. Uh. And set this to the side. And then we're going to come in and cut these in half. Now these are cold. There is nothing pretty about doing this dish, but it is worth it. And it's a easy to taste delicious. I'm just going to say the means. So. Oh, well, how about that? Got a thousand dollars more. I could have gone all in on that one if I wanted to, but I wanted to play safe. Me for four hundred. The answer is. Siena College basketball games were once closed to the public due to this disease. I also say measles. I want to give my chili sauce a quick stir. That's starting to bubble up a little bit. And before this gets too dark, yep. I want to finish. Me for five hundred. The answer is. An extreme U-bend in a river or to wander aimlessly and idly without fixed direction. Meander? And give this a nice stir. This could also be great, you know what, on a toasted bun all by itself with dinner instead of sloppy joes. Or if you're using beef, maybe you could do barbecue beef. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, I'll take the 19 cents for 300. The answer is... So far, this Norwegian's claim of reaching the South Pole in 1911 hasn't been disproven. Oh, I was going to say Richard Bird. Oh, well, Mike doesn't know it. I want to try it. I guess I'll give it a try, Richard Bird. You know, he reached the South Pole. No, not Richard Bird. Now, Jenny. Well, never mind. She rang in on this one. Rolled a Munson. Now, we're over 10 minutes. 
sprinkle this lightly. It's all right, though. 1910s for 400. The answer is. First name of Gustav Krupp von Bullen und Hallbach's wife. A really big gun was named after her. Bertha. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that makes sense. Big Bertha. Okay, Mike, where are we going? Rocks and minerals for 200. The answer is. The star of Africa, cut from the world's largest diamond, is now part of this set. It looks like after we see this, its answer will stop. Now, on top of each one of these... Well, Mike doesn't know, so we'll stop here.